What's going on, guys? This is Random Reviews. <laughs> this is Random Reviews. I'm back. <laughs> so if you didn't see my last video, I explained where I was. Just, <laughs> yeah. Just the last couple weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, today we're going to do Season 4, Episode 133. 33. There we go. That's close enough that I can do 33 with my fingers. <laughs> I wish I had like a, a little board or something. Yeah. But anyway, today we're going to be talking about MCU stuff. Yeah. Or so I'm just gonna call this. I'm just gonna call this title MCU Catch Up 2024. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we're gonna talk about Guardians of the Galaxy three, the new Captain Marvel movie, and Secret Evasion because might as well just talk about them in one long video. So yeah, first up we got Guardians of the Galaxy three, <laughs> which was released last year. Definitely top my one of my favorites. And comment down below and check out my letterbox because I review movies pretty much every day. So. <laughs> Yeah, there's going to be some moves I'm probably not going to review on this channel because, yeah, I try to keep my channel as peachy 13 as possible. Sometimes I rate it depending on what I'm talking about, but yeah, um, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I say sometimes I rate it, but it's like I never gone back forward or, <laughs> yes. So anyway, yeah, so today we're going to talk about Guardians of the Galaxy 3. So this is, will be the timestamp for Guardians of the Galaxy 3. <laughs> yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is this. It's the ending of the Guns of the Galaxy franchise, rest in peace. <sighs> yes, because James Gunn has now moved to DC. Well, I know this is old news, but just in case if anyone's been under a rock. <laughs> yeah. James Gunn has moved to DC, which is kind of disappointing, but what can he do? I mean, probably DC gave him a lot of money to be in charge of DC. And I'll get to his, I'll get to that rant later when I talk about, when I talk about Shazam, Flash, and Boot Beetle. Yeah, because <laughs> I have some, I have some stuff to say. I mean, I highly doubt James Gunn's gonna move. I'm, I highly doubt James Gunn's ever gonna watch this <laughs> review. <laughs> I highly doubt anyone, anyone that I talk about in these videos, they watch my videos. That'll be amazing. But yeah, I apologize in advance. But yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy three, the last in the the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise. I love this movie. I think it is the best one in my opinion because it's so great, depressing, plenty of action and plenty of comedy. That's what I love about these MCU movies, except for Eternals because that sucked. So yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy three highly recommended if you like the original, if you like the first two movies. Yes, okay. Um, what else is there to talk about? Everything was great. I loved it. <laughs> it is really depressing too. If you're an animal lover, <laughs> make sure to bring some tissues along with you if you if you watch this on Disney Plus. <laughs> yes, I love Disney Plus, man. So anyway, yeah, on to Captain Marvel two. What is it called? What is it called again? The Marvels. Yeah. The Marvels I watched pretty recently, like, I think, like, in February? I think it was either February or March when they added it on Disney+. Plus. <laughs> yeah, because most of the time... I don't know, I think I watched it, like, early last year, or late last year. No, I think it was in February, yeah. But anyway, yeah, Captain Marvel. <laughs> Captain Marvel 2. It was a necessary sequel, sure. And it's also a sequel to Miss Marvel along with uh, WandaVision, so you have to watch all those shows. It's like, I understand people hate the MCU sometimes. It's like, I understand some of the hate towards the MCU, but it's like, yeah, if you actually pay attention and watch all the shows and stuff, it's like, yeah, you you could get your mind around it. But it's like, me, I don't care. Yeah. I love the MCU, man. It's like, ever since the first Iron Man movie, I've been hooked ever since. <laughs> yes. Yes, The Marvels, which is a sequel to Captain Marvel, a sequel to WandaVision, and a sequel to Miss Marvel Season 1. In a way, I hope Miss Marvel gets renewed for another season, because <laughs> Miss Marvel was fucking fantastic. <laughs> was great. <laughs> uh, yeah, the new movie though, on the other hand, it was really good. I'd probably give it like a seven and a half out of ten. It's not as good as the first Captain Marvel movie. Yeah, it's cool to see some Monica Rambo action <laughs> and Miss Marvel, of course, which is kind of weird, but whatever. I really liked it. And spoiler, <laughs> yeah, there might be some spoilers in this. It's cool selling Kelsey Grammer again as the X-Men, so that means X-Men is going to join the MCU in some way, shape, or form. But we kind of knew that with Deadpool and Wolverine coming out in July, and I can't wait to see it. That's probably going to be the best movie of the year, right behind Dune Part 2. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. And then right here is going to be, of course, Secret Evasion, which is the next Marvel TV show. I think the, the newest one right now at the moment, because I don't think there's ever been... I don't think there's another one that I know of. It's been a while, man. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, Secret Evasion. It's pretty much another sequel series. Yeah. This one follows Nick Fury and Maria Hill. Rest in peace. <laughs> yeah. Secret Evasion was a pretty good show, I gotta say. It was good. But I wish there was more. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of wish there was more. They'll probably do season two. Probably not. Who knows? <laughs> 
Who knows with Disney Plus these days? <laughs> Disney removing stuff off the platform. Just Disney Plus just canceling shows, renewing shows that I'm surprised got renewed. <laughs> Disney Plus, man. I could go all day, but I'm not going to rant about Disney Plus. I, I love Disney, man, but it's just like... You have made some bad decisions. It's like, you thought HBO was bad slash Warner Brothers with what's-his-name. You wait until you see Disney. And it's like, why, Disney? Why? But anyway, Secret Evasion, I'll give it a eight. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. <laughs> so, yeah, see you guys next time for animated movies. Yeah, I hope you guys like animated movies because we got a whole bunch of them tomorrow. Or, or sometime tomorrow whenever this goes uploaded. Whatever. Next week. Sometime. I don't know. Whenever this gets uploaded. So yeah, see you guys next time. Peace!